Hi guys, Moz here and on the workbench today, it arrived yesterday, I have the brand new Tamiya catalogue for 2022 and I'm going to show you this page by page.
lovely catalog again very glossy it's that square shape you know i've had them over the years if you can go back through the playlist i've done many of these catalogs because i do like to collect scale model catalogs just because they're a really good read and i remember reading these way before we ever had mobile phones and we used to read the stuff on the back of the toilet duck but yeah here we go this is the tammy catalog Unfortunately, it's not like a lot of catalogs where they actually re show you their new releases in it because they don't mention them. It's like it, this is like um, produced before they decide what they're really going to do. But yeah, inside you've got some cracking pictures and some lovely looking kits and some well finished kits as well. Uh, this Toyota GR86, you know, as you're going through there, you know, they the scales that they do, they do 1 to 24, 1 to 35, 1 to 48. You know, there's something for everyone in this catalogue. Right, shifting through, because what I, you know, you've basically seen like, the uh, 1 to 20 scale Grand Prix collection. I've noticed, I don't know whether they did in the previous catalogues, I'll just have another look, but they're putting all like the detail up parts in next to the kit, so you can see what goes with what. I don't remember seeing that um, in other kits. Maybe in other catalogues, I can't really remember. I'll have to have a look into that. But yeah, there's some really nice bikes in here. It's a cracking, whoops, there's, whoops, catching some model bits there. Um, you know, they, they do go all out. Go all out. Um, I've always wanted to build that um, Honda RC166 GP racer. I think it's a lovely looking bike, that. I remember watching the uh, watching the bike racing and uh, me and man used to uh, go on about those bikes. Moving through, there's quite a bit in this catalogue, as you can see now, the tanks, obviously, 135 scale tanks. Um, there's the M18 Hellcat there. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I don't remember seeing that. The KV2. So look into that one. I don't remember seeing that. But yeah, plenty of tanks in here. What you saw which detailing up part series. There's a lot of that in this catalogue. So you can see how they're detailing up. What they do on, you know, like the um the M40 metal gun barrel set. You know, it, it so, as I said, with a lot of this stuff is, um, you know, we've seen it all before, but it does make for a good catalogue. And as I said, some of the pictures in here are just sublime. Some of the finished models look amazing. No, not real much weathering, I suppose, as such, but yeah, really, really good. There's the F4, that's the Phantom. Is that the new one? Tidy, isn't it? That's 1 to 16 scale, that is there. Some really good stuff in this catalogue. I'm just trying to find the um, the one to forty eight and the one to seventy. There's the one forty eight scales. Uh, you know, there's the old Supermarine Spitfire, the the the, the standard that's set for one forty eight. As I've been keep being told. Um, catching that plane there. Let's get it over out of the way. So there's some great pictures here, and what they what they do is a one seventy two scale. There you go. You know, not much added to the range this year. I don't believe. They seem to be resting on their laurels, I think, uh, Tamiya. Um, like I say, the new Mosquito from FX, you know, the 172 scale one, I think is better than the Tamiya version. But the Tamiya version is 1999, 1998. So they could do an upgrade on that one, I think, or retooling. And you have the boats in here, the lovely ships, the uh, Yamato. People say, I've got to build that one, but I'm not really into, into, my, uh, into my ships. This is the one, th one to 350 scale premium that's what they call it premium build and you've got your leveling up there as well detail up parts on the side for all these boats all these ships i should say Quite use the word boat and then this is me this is this is my this is my uh, model porn really is the tools looking at all the tools and stuff has anybody bought that router or the drill can they let me know in the comments if they have and let me know what they think of it because at the moment i just use um a dremel if I want to do holes and stuff. But yeah, some fine line drill bits there. Safety goggles, you know, paint stirrers. I've got a couple of paint stirrers. They're very good, actually. I, they do recommend them if you don't want to use the wood anymore and you're happy to, uh, um, you know, buy the metal ones and clean them. Paint jar stand, yeah, I've got them upstairs in the attic. I must bring them down with all my... I don't use them for paint, though, because they're you don't get that many on them. I use them for all the weathering and stuff that I've got. The cutting mat there, good cutting mat. So yeah, plenty of new, not much new tool in there, I don't think. I can't see anything new in this. But yeah, all the tools. And then, 
then you go on to the rotor crab and then just you know your bog standard rc scuff which i don't see why they put in this one because a lot of this is um radial control and they have their own radial control catalog but yeah looking pretty smart there look at that dumper truck that'd be pretty cool oh, what's that one is that a cat hey turn that's vogel isn't it mammoth dumper truck brilliant then moving on to what the radial control tractor trucks and I think, am I am I right that um, these are already built? No, they're ready to assemble. Are ready to assemble ones? Fair enough. I know sometimes they, they, they you can buy them pre-made, can't you? Moving on through, look at that with the old mask container on the back. Brilliant. And then their paint range. They've got you know. Remember they still do enamel paints. They do acrylic. And they do the uh, paint minis, which is what we're all into. I'm moving on to the lacquer paint more. I can, you know, the the enamel and acrylic range is there, and the lacquer paint range is there. So you, there's plenty of that, not so much of that. But I do like their um, their lacquer range. All their airbrushes. If you didn't know, Tammy do airbrushes as well. And if I was going to get pistol grip like this one, I would buy a Tammy one because people recommended that one to me. And if I'm right, it's single action, so you just pull back the trigger and lets the paint through, if I'm correct. Then you go into all their, um, you know, the reference guide at the back, and then you're at the back of the catalogue, and that's basically it. That was the Tamiya catalogue 2022. It's really good. I enjoyed that. Um, remember, if you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, and if you can, ring that bell, select all, and you'll be notified when I release any new videos. Any questions, any comments, obviously put them in the comments box below. I do reply, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.